going on YouTube? Today we're doing a video on the banjo catfish and a couple things you could go about doing. I don't know how many it's going to be, but things you could do to take care of a banjo catfish if you could call it taking care of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not even gonna lie to you. I've never ever seen this thing eat. <laughs> Actually like twice. Um, happened to be feeding bloodworms this one day and he must have been hungry. I will say in the middle of the night sometimes I do hear him like a little vacuum cleaner, you know, rum rummaging around the, uh, the tank. But the, even that's not very often. So actually seeing him out in the daylight and uh, eating is a very rare occurrence for me. And uh, so while I saw it happening, I figured I'd take a, take a video, but a lot of the other videos out there on banjo catfish, you know, you'll see them all active and swimming around and you think to yourself, that's just how they are all the time. In reality, that's totally not the case. This is a very rare occurrence. Um, some things they eat, obviously blood worms. <laughs> uh, they eat blood worms and uh, let's see here. I think I see him eating some of them pellets. Um, those are called uh, discus granules. Uh, so it looks like he's e eating a combination between those and the blood worms. But I swear, this is like, this is crazy for me to see what, what he's doing right now. Uh, they do dig underneath the substrate. That's where they spend probably most of their life is, is dug underneath the substrate. Uh, if you do see them just totally missing for sometimes a week or month on end, uh, that, that's, that's normal. Um, sometimes, uh, I think it, it'd be two, three or four months. <laughs> One time it was four months, I think, before I, uh, before I saw him out and about. Uh, so I mean, really that's all there is to, to, uh, to banjos. I do keep them in about 82 to 84 degrees, uh, as far as the water goes. pH is right around a six. Uh, I'm keeping discus fish with him. Uh, they don't seem to give him a hard time. Uh, I have seen a couple of them picking on him before but uh they, they they seem to get uninterested pretty quickly and then and then swim off um they are not the greatest for keeping the tank clean they do not go up on the actually clean the glass they are a substrate um uh variant only so they only uh stay on the, stay on the bottom you'll never see them going up the glass and sucking on the glass there's no sucker aspect to them uh he uses those little uh the little cat fangs th fangs fangs there to uh basically search around the the substrate and find what he's looking for but uh yeah that's really about all i got on banjo catfish hey guys if you got value from that please give me a like and subscribe and check out my videos on my aquaponic system it helps me do absolutely no water changes that's right a hundred percent no water changes except for evaporation and uh, it, keep, it gives me my own free GMO food uh, and prevents me from having to do any maintenance on my tank. Uh, head on over to the channel, check out those videos, like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.